Summer's here and the time is right to be asking about our skincare routine, which is exactly what we're doing. We're speaking with the owner of Fab Skin Care Spa, Sharita Snow. Sharita, thank you so much for joining us today. I think right now more than ever, we could use some of your advice because summer is upon us and skincare is top of mind for a lot of people. I know it's a top of mind for me. So tell us what can we be doing to add to our summer skincare routine? All right, so a lot of people don't know, like during the summer months, our skin tends to produce more oil. So instead of using those heavier products that we were using in the fall and winter months, switch to a gentle facial wash or a foamy cleanser. Another one would be to exfoliate. So we all have dead skin cells that sits on the surface of our skin. So it's best to exfoliate those away. Another tip would be to tone. So a lot of people forget that step, which is very important after cleansing. Um, Tony helps shrink your pores, it provides an extra layer of protection, and it also brings our skin pH balance back to normal, which is good because all cleansers has that alkaline. So it's always good to cleanse, exfoliate, tone, and um, just it's just gonna give you a radiant glow. Glow is my favorite word, and I see your skin glowing right now, so I'm definitely writing everything you're saying down. Now, when it comes to summer, I know sun is a big deal, especially here in Florida. So when it comes to taking care of our skin with the sun, do you have any recommendations when it comes to SPF? Yes, so look for a product that says water resistant. It'll also say broad spectrum of SPF 30 or higher. So this is just gonna protect our skin from the environmental toxins, um, from the sun rays, and just help our skin to look younger. And also, if you plan on being outdoors, at least apply it 30 minutes prior. And if you're outdoors for longer periods of time, just reapply it every few hours. So some products that I would recommend would be Aveeno or Neutrogena. And um, sometimes it's always best to have a moisturizer with SPF already included. Well, now that we know how to take care of our skin when it comes to the sun, let's talk about at-home facials because I know I try to give myself one every now and again. I just want to make sure I'm doing the right thing. And for those of us out there that are doing that, do you have any suggestions or advice? Yes. So make sure you cleanse twice a day. So every morning I make sure I cleanse, I tone, I moisturize and apply my sunscreen. That's just going to help protect my skin. And at night, do the same routine minus the sunscreen but just add a serum based on your skincare needs. So one that I would recommend would be vitamin C serum. So that helps to brighten our skin and it also prevents hyperpigmentation. So that's an awesome serum. Another serum for drier clients would be hyaluronic acid. It just helps retain that moisture and puts the moisture back into the skin. And one other question, for those of us that are, go out and actually seek professional services, do you have any suggestions on the type of treatments we should be looking at? So make sure they perform a skin analysis to tell you what would be the best treatment for your skin. So one of my favorite ones is dermaplaning. So dermaplaning removes two to three layers of dead skin cells and it also removes the vellus hair, which is peach fuzz. And it just allows deeper product penetration and it just makes our skin feel super soft and it just gives you a glow. And how can people find out more about you and the services you provide? Okay, so you can find me by visiting www.fabskincarejacks.com. I am also on Facebook and Instagram as Fab Skincare Jacks. Thank you so much, Sharita, for your time. Do appreciate it. Thank you. You can always find this segment and more on our website at firstcoastliving.net.